burn down concepts of animation to their simplest form so that they're teachable and and easily learnable and it's a tough thing right because so much of it's just going to come down to you guys um like practicing you know um but it's it's constantly my goal to try to boil down the ideas to their simplest form you know and i was looking at some of the animation on um spies in disguise spider-man into the spider-verse and then also monsters university and i was just looking at some specific clips and how they handle timing for one on some of the action stuff and then also where they embellish timing like on hang times uh and so i got a couple of good clips uh, based on that from the spider movie spider-man and um, monsters university so i kind of wanted to dig into that a little bit tonight and just kind of give you guys some more examples to look at watch how fast this action takes place it's really quick and in fact it happens so quick that you kind of don't really notice the individual posing this nice directionality here like i talked about um he's coming over the top she's coming underneath right and then we get this nice kind of up movement here and then once she's up here we start to watch her head track as she kind of comes around and so there's a small arc to it because she's shifting her weight she's coming over the top of him and he's standing up right so she's gonna dip down right through there and so there's not much of an arc here she's pretty flat line on the head right here but then when she comes up here and she torques her body right there uh frame 51 and she starts to like throw him over she's gonna she's basically crunching her core right here and she's pushing everything she's got screen left right and she's gonna slam down with him and then come down squash pose and then settle she like recoils out of it right as we cut we got this nice open shot here where everything's kind of open shapes right there boom you know so there's just like a nice fluid motion to the whole thing you know You'll notice that he kind of does like a almost like a, a roll and a forward movement as he hang times and then slams down and then goes back if a camera was tracking them running across the ground right and he's just like he just kind of gets some, some momentum and like sticks and then gets some momentum and sticks you know it's really fun i was in trouble a little skip through there boom so we got this nice squash pose look how the arm comes through like this nice round shape there's the first rotation happening there Tries to grab the, I'm assuming the stop button. Almost gets to it. Just comes short. And then like he just grips the top of that thing and then like rotates over, boom. It's a lifelong journey, guys. <sighs> like even me, like after 21 years of doing this, I still, in fact, I was listening to that. I think I told you guys on Saturday or someone on Saturday that I was, I was, I saw a clip from one of our game animator instructors and he was talking about how he starts his mornings at blizzard for 30 minutes just getting like you know basically like amped up and i was like god i freaking relate to that because like, i need that still i need that that push in the morning to go oh yeah i can i can push this anywhere i want i don't have to just like go with my first thought because i can, it's easy to go down your first thought right you're just like okay i'm just gonna do my thing and you sit down and you just start doing it on autopilot it's very easy to do that you know but um but if you take a moment before you get started and just like go watch something that's just like batshit crazy right something that's like left field or something right and then you're just like oh yeah i can i can like have them like do a big backflip gator into like a landing and then jump up and then grab this thing and then like climb up this thing and then like do a swan dive off of it and like do 47 flips on the way down and like stick the landing it's, it's like you know it's it's not built in you're i don't think it's ever going to be like you've got your set you know bag of tricks that never changes and then you just do that all the time you know i think that we have to uh constantly trick our minds into an imagination place you know a place of imagination that we can capitalize on and put into our work you know um 